with warm temperatures, you want to go out there and have fun. We we always recommend that, but just be safe. With Bone Nick and Memorial Day weekend right around the corner, a lot of families are planning on hitting the water for the unofficial start of summer. Rescue crews, however, worry about the current river conditions, specifically the Rogue River. A combination of the higher than average snowpack and the recent hot weather resulted in snow melt adding to the river's water levels. Because of that, river temperatures are down in the low 50s, five to six degrees colder than normal, and water levels are high and fast. The cold temperatures can easily cause hypothermia, and the high water can make it difficult to control a boat or raft and increase the risk of strainers where you could get trapped underneath the water. Grants Pass Fire Rescue Battalion Chief Wayne Nelson says things will look different this week out at Boat Nick and elsewhere on the river. We urge caution when you're out there next to the river. It's not going to look normal. It's not going to feel normal. It's going to move quicker. Uh, even with life jackets, we're seeing stuff getting getting swept, swept down river a little faster than we're used to. Chief Nelson says some of the places along the river that people watch the boat races are now gone because of the river conditions. He says the Illinois and Applegate rivers are both facing dangerous conditions as well. Royal Metro held a water rescue training event last week on the Rogue River. Chief Nelson says it was a great time for the training so crews could get some experience in the hazardous conditions. And this is a perfect time to train when the water's high, the water's cold. Uh, people are starting to get out there a little bit. Just in our training, we were able to pull a couple off the rocks. You know, just being out there um, on a constant basis like we've been um, really lets us know like how the river's moving, how the river's going. According to the Army Corps of Engineers, the cold river temperatures could remain for a few more weeks, but should be back to normal as we get further into the summer. Once the snowpack's gone and we have you know the normal temperatures that we experience during the summer, you, you won't see a long lasting effect as far as temperatures go downstream those long lasting effects you know we'll see those dwindle out here early to mid-june